Hello everybody, this is Moses from Zato Gardens and this is episode 85 of Gardening Without Edits. I'm going to show you something pretty sad, uh, but I was worried about it winter of last year. Uh, the moringa tree that has been in the ground for about five years topped out one year at about 15, 16 feet tall. Uh, finally rotted out. I was just inspecting the tree and noticed that uh, there was too much grass around the base. I wanted to take that away so it doesn't rot the base. And I just tested it by pushing the tree and I felt a lot of movement and it just toppled over for with not much effort. So uh, I have to chop this down. Uh, it's been with me with uh, for a very long time. I'll put some other old videos maybe in this video to just show how long it's been around. Um, it got really, it, it was one of my biggest, biggest hurdles in the garden. Uh, I had trouble growing moringa and I finally found, I planted hundreds of seeds and I let them all grow out and only one of those seedlings, well, you know, let's say about 70, I think, maybe 60 of them made it, but only one of them lived for years and that was this one. But I collected all the seeds this year from the mother plant. So those have that strong for my area zone 9b central california these seedlings or these excuse me these seeds there's a lot of them have the genes of the plant that can survive here so i'm deciding if i should start selling these locally growing them out and selling them locally i don't want to sell the seeds um just grow some plants out and sell them locally Heck, even here where I live, the leaflet of a moringa sells for over a dollar. Just a whole leaflet, each. So, I mean, some places you probably find it cheaper, but they won't be as fresh. Anyways, too bad. Too bad. I mean, there's nothing I can cry over about it. At least I got the babies. Happy gardening, everybody. Bye.